Hello and welcome to LearningEngineer.com where we engineer learning for efficiency and also at LearningEngineer.org. So what I'd like to do for you today is to demonstrate to you how you can do speech to text or dictation in Google Docs. So the first thing I did is of course I'm in Google Chrome and I went to drive.google.com so my Google Drive and so what I want to do now is I would go new and I would click Google Docs and I would bring up a new one like this one right here and as you can see I have all of this across the top and if I click on add-ons I can click get add-ons and that's where we need to find our dictation software and if we just scroll down it's usually well here it is right here speech recognition and you can see it's free and if you can if you can it's a good idea to donate as well so as you can see it tells me it's on and so what I'm gonna do is simply go to this speech recognition and simply click start and so up here we have basically everything that we need okay what we want to do is click start and then that'll bring up our microphone first it will dictate it here and then it will push it into our document if you have a different language that you want to use that's where you would do this if you of course if you have a different country and so on and so forth so you can uh, learn how to use punctuation marks here and of course this is where we were it brought up a new tab and what you want to do is speech recognition config English United States space after period one activate word period comma so as you can see activate word for stop this is how you get to all the stuff that you want to set as far as punctuation. So why don't we take a look at that. So we'll come up here, go add-ons, speech recognition, config. So here we have our information and of course we want to change it to English. And we probably want United States. So these are your words. So if you want to do a period, a comma, a semicolon, or a colon, this is these are the words that you use if you want a new line if you want to stop okay and then when you're ready you just click save so let me make sure there isn't oh, that's it so save and if you want to change those of course you can okay so I'm gonna click start now and of course it's gonna ask you if you can use your microphone and you want to allow it to do that this is an example of voice dictation in Google Docs. Period. New line. If you wanted to use this to write an essay, it sure would make the process a lot more straightforward and simple. period I like the fact that I don't have to type on a keyboard with my hands all the time period new line new line It helps if you enunciate properly, and it also helps if you go a little slow, period. So in other words, think before you say something. Otherwise, it's not going to sound any better, period. However, comma, the best way to learn how to use it effectively is to experiment with it and try it, period. Good luck. 
I'm going to turn off speech recognition now. Period. Now, I guess what I could do here is I could like put my my uh, cursor there, and then click start. And then what I'm going to do after I click start is I'm going to say comma, and it should insert a comma there. Comma. Stop. Then I could go somewhere else and edit. So it's fairly simple to edit with this as well. So this is how you use speech recognition in Google Docs. Don't forget to title your, your essay or whatever you're using in Google Docs. And that's it. Have a good day.